In this video, we're going to focus on finding chirality centers. So in this example, we have a chlorine atom, a bromine atom, and also a methyl group. So how many chiral carbons can we identify in that molecule? So a chiral carbon is basically a carbon atom with four different groups. Primary carbon atoms are not chiral. This one is a CH3. And so it has three hydrogens on it, so it can't be it can't be a chiral center because it can't have four different groups. Now this carbon with the chlorine atom is chiral. We have a methyl group on the left, a chlorine atom, an invisible hydrogen atom, and then this entire thing makes up the fourth group. So this is the first chiral center. Now we have another chiral center here. Because this group, that's one group. The bromine makes the second group. And this is the third group. And the fourth group is the invisible hydrogen. Now what about this carbon? Is that a chiral center? Well, that carbon doesn't have four groups because it's attached to two methyl groups. So this is not a chiral center. So we have a total of two chiral centers. So how many possible stereoisomers can we get for this molecule? The number of stereoisomers that can be produced is 2 to the n. So it's 2 squared. In this case, it's going to be 4. Now, what about this example? How many chiral centers can you identify in this molecule? So is this carbon a chiral center? It turns out that it is. We have a methyl group, a hydroxyl group, the right side of the molecule, and the invisible hydrogen. So this is the first chiral center, which means this carbon is also a chiral center. Now, any primary carbons at the end, those are not chiral centers. They have three hydrogen atoms. And secondary carbon atoms in the middle that don't have any other substituent attached to them those are CH2s. And so because they have two hydrogen atoms on them, they're not going to be a chiral center. Now what about this carbon? Is that a chiral center? So we have a hydrogen attached to it, an NH2 group. But notice that the right side is the same as the left side. So because the right side is the same as the left side, these two groups are equivalent, so it doesn't have four different groups. So this is not a chiral center. Now, how about this example? How many chiral centers can you identify in this molecule? So let's analyze this carbon. Is that a chiral center? Notice that the left side is the same as the right side. So therefore, this is not a chiral center. And the same is true for this carbon. The right side is the same as the left side. So there are no chiral centers in this molecule. Now, let's move on to our next example. So let's say we have an OH group, a methyl group, and a fluorine atom. Identify all of the chiral centers in this molecule. So is this a chiral center? Notice that the left side and the right side are the same. So this is not going to be a chiral center. Now what about the carbon with the CH3? That is a chiral center. This is the first group. This is the second, the third and the invisible hydrogen. So that carbon has four different groups. And this too is a chiral center. We have a methyl group, the group on the left, the fluorine atom, and the hydrogen. So there are two chiral centers that we can identify in that molecule. Now let's try one final example for the sake of practice.
So go ahead and determine the number of chiral centers. So this is going to be the first chiral center. This one is the second one. Here's the third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seven. So I've counted a total of seven chiral centers. Now this one is not a chiral center because of the two methyl groups. But everything else that is listed here is the chiral center. 